Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a different type of tutorial. As you can see, I am wearing like a grayish blue kind of lip. Um, so this lip is what this whole tutorial is based around. So if you like this look, very neutral eyes. So even if you like the eyes but you don't like the lips, then stay tuned for the tutorial. Starting out with my Jordana 12 hour made to last pencil. I'm using this as my base. I'm also going to apply my bronzers as my transition shades and as you can see I'm using a very fluffy blending brush. I'm starting off very lightly in the crease and I'm going to build the color. Now I'm going to go in with my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I'm going to apply the shade Nectar all over my eyelid. And I'm going to build this color just like the crease color and eventually just pack it on there. As you can see, I'm using tapping motions, not swiping motions, so I can get that color payoff on my eyelid. Now I'm going to go in with the shades Plum and Charcoal. I'm mixing these two shades with a blending brush and applying it in my crease. Same thing here, you want to use a very light hand. And as you can see, I'm almost cutting my crease with this um, tapered blending brush. So you want to apply it very lightly so it doesn't become too heavy because you know the lips are going to be heavy, <clears throat> but build the color. So I'm going back with my blending brush. Do not add any product and we're just blending the, trans the transition shade with the crease shade. Now I'm going to go in off camera and apply my eyeliner as well as my mascara. So I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and the Dior Show Iconic Curl Mascara, which you can't see the title here, um, but that's what it is. All products will be listed below just in case. Now I'm going in with this Absolute True Elements palette and I'm going to apply the lightest shade as my highlight shade. It's like a frosty kind of white shade and that's going to go right here in my inner tear duct as my highlight. So now I'm going to finish my face. I'm going to contour with my contouring powders or bronzers as well as highlight with two of the shades from the absolute palette I'm using the copper kind of shade and the light shade this is the blush I'm using it's the Taos blush by NARS and I'll be right back with the final look and now for the lips I'm using my JCAT Beauty Wonder lip paint I'm also going to be using a lip brush I'm going to start with um, any liner you'd like to use is okay. I just found this gray lip liner from the beauty supply store. It matched the color pretty closely so that's what I'm going to use to line my lips. So you want to follow your lip shape here when you're lining your lips. You could completely fill them in but um, I chose not to do that for this look today. Just blot your lips together just to make sure the line is perfect and you can reapply as necessary. Now for the star of the show, I'm applying a little bit of that Wonder Lip Paint on the back of my hand. You only need the tiniest bead as you can see here. And I'm going to take my lip brush. This one is from Sephora. And I'm going to completely fill my lips in with the lip paint. And you want to follow the shape of your lips, which is why I line my lips first, because it just makes it a little bit easier to fill them in. 
So you want to start with a kind of a light layer and then you can go in and build the color as necessary. So this is just one coat and I'm going to apply just a little bit more to build it to the shade that I'm going for. Once you build it to the shade that you're going for, then you're done. So now I'm just going to go in and clean up the around the lips. I'm going to reapply my lip liner as you can see here just to clean up the lines and make sure they're extra straight and perfect. I'm also going to go in with some concealer around my lips just like I said to clean up the look and just make sure the lines are very straight and seamless. So if you want you could apply some to your cupid's bow as well just to go for the heart shape around your lips and once you apply the concealer just make sure you blend it out. So I'm blending it a little bit with my concealer brush. And as you can see in a few seconds, I'm also going to go in with my foundation brush just to make sure everything is blended. Alright, so here is the final look. Um, as you can see, I did use the J Cat Beauty Wonder Lip Paint. And, and this is in the shade Splashed. So here is the final look. I'll go in a little bit closer so you can see the eyes. Cheeks. And of course, the lips. So if you like this sort of thing, then thumbs up or leave a comment below. And until next time, bye.